Hello, welcome back to Conan Exiles. And for a change, I'm not in my eastern base. I'm normally in my base over here, near Buccaneer Bay. But today we are right over here in the west. Because I've made a start on a new base. A new base near Eyebreaker Ridge, which in turn is quite close to Sepa Maru. And yeah, I'm very pleased with progress so far. Here it is. There's the floor plan. That's going to be the central fortress in the middle. And I've got the plan for a little watchtower there on the left. And over here, I've got my map room and a defensive wall, which I'll explain in a little bit more detail in a moment. But yeah, this floor plan is something I saw online. There's a YouTuber called Shah Diversity, who does a lot of building work in games like Conan Exiles. And he's very keen on designing castles. And in one of his videos, he had a variety of castle floor plans laid out. Now this is what I copied off him. So you've got a central tower at the back, that would be the main tower. And then you've got the foundations for four sub-towers here. And it's all based around a central square. You can see the four torches I've got laid out with a well in the middle. But that's like, you know, the middle of this structure. Um, I'm not sure how it's all going to turn out. I think the tower at the end there is going to be the taller tower. Then the two next to it will be sort of medium sized towers. And then these two at the end will be sort of short squatter towers, I suppose. And I'll have the middle as a, an open area. I'm guessing that's how it's going to work out. But I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. Let's come down here and take a closer look. Yes, I've got a couple of thralls down here and the horse, obviously. This is Fabio, keeping a watch on all my belongings. You get some great views here. This is the unnamed city, to show you on the map. So we're looking out here. I don't know which gate that is. Like I said, we've got Sepa Maru over there. You can just make it out. And on that side, we have got the Warmaker's Dungeon and the Obelisk that we fast travel to. You can see the Obelisk in the centre of the screen. And beyond that is the Shattered Springs, which is over there. So it's a very handy location for a number of things. But if we go over here, we've even got our own little boss. We've got a boss scorpion there with his chest. I didn't notice this guy when I first came here, but I'm very glad to see him. It's always handy having a, a nice boss nearby that you can farm for weapons. So like I said, this is going to be the main tower. Um, it's probably going to be the taller tower of these. So this is the, the first set of minor towers. These will be medium towers. And these will be the shorter towers. But this is going to be a watchtower. So I think this ought to be the tallest of all of them. And it'll make a nice contrast with those, I think. And this won't have its own entrance. What I'm going to do is make a rope bridge. Now, I've not used rope bridges before. This is something you get from the pleasures of, um, no, no, debaucheries of Decurto building kit. Let's call it up. And this is a long rope bridge. And that's about four blocks wide, I think it is. So the idea is that I'm going to build up this tower, build up that one, and then I will connect them with this thing here, which would be quite interesting. Pick that up again. Yeah, unfortunately, this well, you can't pick up and move around. Yeah, in the old days of Conan, if you built something like a well, or a map room, for example, or even foundation blocks, you couldn't pick them up and move them around. You had to demolish them. But they changed that, so most pieces you can now pick up and return to your inventory. Except for this rotten well. I can only dismantle it, or cancel, or interact, which is quite annoying. <laughs> so I don't know. I think it might be a good idea to have the well in the middle of this castle. But then again, depending on what I decide on, I might have it outside. In which case I'll just have to break it up and build it elsewhere. Here's the map room on a nice circular base for a change. Looking pretty good. And round here is my defensive wall. Because the only way to walk up to this promontory here 
is through this thing. So I've got some stairs here, but even if there weren't stairs, um, Throlls or myself or the Purge, which is what we're worried about, could walk up here. So this is the only direction the Purge can attack from. So I've got to put some extra defences around at this end. Make sure that's well defended. But it's looking nice, I think. I'm very pleased with it. Let's go around here. Hopefully not aggro a scorpion. It's looking good. Yeah, there are a lot of scorpions down here. Look at that. There's the boss. And there's some big bastards as well. Let's go around. So there's my watchtower on the other side. And you can't walk up this. You have to climb it. So the purge can't come from this direction. Yeah, it's all mountaineering country around here. So the purge can only come from the other side. So yeah, it's very defensible. You know, I'm very pleased. You get great views from here, as I said. It's close to lots of resources. And it's quite easy to defend from the purge. Can we go sideways, please? Let's go sideways. <laughs> Got there eventually. Yeah, I'm pleased with it. But obviously it's going to take quite a while to build this up. So expect to see some progress on this over the next few months rather than the next few days or, or weeks. And I think my first job will be to start to wall in this over here. And figure out what to do with everything. Because I've only ever seen the floor plan for this structure. I've never seen anyone sort of complete a castle based on this plan. So what I do with it will be up to me. Anyway, I hope you enjoy that little catch-up. Hope to see you again for the next adventure. And until I see you again, I shall say goodbye. Okay then, cheerio.